Hello. It is November the 21st, 2020. I am, of course, John Anthony Francis Wilcox at your service. Uh, quite a week. Sunday went to a Michaels that uh, my niece brought me to so that I could get some of the purples that I needed for this birdhouse that is a gift that will be a Christmas gift for my friend Aerie. I don't feel like I'm giving anything away because she never watches my videos ever, ever, anyway, so that kind of secret is safe, as it were. But I must say, looking at it again here, um, I'm pretty happy with this. It's all in purples, as I hope you can see, um, with some pearlescent white and some glitter purple and a little bit of pewter color. Uh, took me about three and a half hours to paint, uh, which is much longer than I expected, but I'm quite pleased with the result. It was a lot of work. I did that on Thursday, Thursday evening, um, but I like the feel of it. I hope she does too. And uh, yeah, so went to Michael's. I hadn't been there in, I don't know, a couple of years. So that was an interesting experience. Uh, it was nice to see my niece. Um, it was two of my nieces, Jessica, who brought me, and my niece, Kelly. Um, they both have the same birthday, uh, the 18th. So uh, that was nice. So that was Sunday that I did that. I'm trying to think. Tuesday I had to go to the store went with my sister. I'm pretty much done with my Thanksgiving shopping. I'm going um, later today uh, to uh, ShopRite where I will use up the rest of my... I need to spend $400 over a month or so to get um, a free turkey or turkey breast. I'm getting a turkey breast. I'm not doing a whole turkey because it's too wasteful. It's just going to be my nephew and I. And uh, the turkey breast will, will be the most sort of, I guess you're going to say, efficient use of it. The, the, the least thrown out. Let's put it that way. Also going to be making the family stuffing and my nephew Michael is going to help me with that. Mashed potatoes, gravy, cranberry sauce from a lovely refrigerated can, but I love it. Um, what else? So, uh, mashed potatoes, yeah, we got that. And um, I'm going to do some kind of, we always do a, I guess it's a, the Polish side of my family, my dad's side, um, his mom's side. It was always creamed string beans. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I do carrots. Um, I'm not sure which I'll do this year. I'll decide that. But there's just a few items I need to, to get everything all sorted out for Thanksgiving. And I will do that later on today. Uh, what else did I do during the week? Oh, I had um, a long conversation with my lovely friend Loretta about um, she's making some choices about uh, moving. I think she should take the condo. I think the others are um, tempting wastes of her time. If, you're, if you hear me, Loretta, that's my thought. But you're going to, of course, do whatever makes you happiest, and that's what you ought to do. Um, my friend Daniela had a, a long a week with a good payoff uh, with coverage for uh, the pantry that she runs in North Carolina. Very happy for her, very proud to see her get some recognition that is so very much deserved. Uh, so that's that's very nice. Um, nice talks with my friend Suzanne, uh, with Ari, um, who, who isn't watching this, and a few other people during the, oh, Dawn, my friend Dawn, who's going through the COVID down in Florida. I hope she gets better very soon. Um, it's everywhere, isn't it? You know, but, um, and Friday, 
Friday was a perilously bad day for me. So Thursday night I went to sleep. I had a bad night's sleep. I slept in segments and not very well at all. And I woke up, I went to sleep after 3 in the morning and I woke up after 11 in the morning and I just felt horrid. Just, I don't know why. But I felt it all, mostly in my shoulders and my back. I felt the tiredness. And I was I was online, I was checking out. I, I, there's another thing I did this week. I sent uh, interview questions uh, to a member of a prog metal band called Pyramaze. P-Y-R-A-M-A-Z-E. Who are actually quite good in, as far as that genre goes. And I, I sent off the questions. I got them back this morning. I'll, uh, not this morning, uh, Friday morning. And um, I'll work on that over the next few days and get that up on Prog Sheet. But at about by three in the afternoon, I couldn't stay awake. I don't know what it was. I just felt awful. So I had to come and lay down. I, I, I was unconscious for like three hours. Um... I hadn't felt that bad in a long time. And I don't have a clue what it could be. I don't know if it was the changes in the weather, if it's because I haven't slept so great, you know, whatever. But um, after that, I felt much better. I was going to do some more birdhouse painting because I have some more to get done. But I just didn't feel up to it. So I did nothing for the rest of Friday evening other than uh, watch the episode that I missed last night of I've been watching season one of Star Trek Discovery and I'm really enjoying it uh, so much more so than I thought I would I haven't enjoyed I think the last Trek series that I liked was Deep Space Nine and even that toward the end I was getting less interested in it I'd love to go back and revisit that at some point but this Discovery they've been I know it was on like the CBS app, which I didn't get and still don't get. So I've unfortunately missed Picard. I'd love to see that. But um, this was the seventh episode of, of this first season of Discovery. I guess uh, you know, and proper on the app, they're up to season three. But I found it engaging and, and I like the characters. I, I've really warmed up to the cast. I like where it's going. It seems to be in an interesting place. So that was nice to watch that. And uh, that's about it for this week. More to come. Well, you know, next time we speak, I will affiliate on Thanksgiving. And who knows what else? Who knows what could happen in that time? Who knows? Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, one last look at the birdhouse, huh? Oh, look at that. Isn't it lovely?